Hi, this is Bobby Chestnut with Speed Digital and MyClassyGarage.com here with Floyd Garrett and at Sevierville, Tennessee for his muscle car museum. And we'd like to talk to him and ask him a few questions about it. How you well, doing, Floyd? Oh, I'm fine. Glad to have you. Good to see you again. Yes. I saw you back here in 98, I think, after you only yes, been here sir. a couple years. A couple years. Yeah, well, every time I come here, it's like a new experience. There's all type of revolving cars that come in and out. It's just like endless. It's like the mecca for me for any type of thing with muscle cars. Yes. How'd you get started here? Well, I tell everybody I fell out of the back of a pickup truck and knocked all my brains out. <laughs> <laughs> back back uh, in Florida, I had a little trucking company and I made okay. a little bit of money with mm -hmm. it. Uh, and so I had a passion for cars mm -hmm. by working at a service station when I was a kid. So mm -hmm. I, I collected 64 cars. Mm -hmm. and so I decided to sell the trucking company and I mm -hmm. did and I wanted to uh, open a museum. I mm -hmm. thought Sevierville would be the place because of all the uh, uh, 12 million visitors that come to the Smoky Mountains. Well, that's certainly a, a fact that's happened here. I can't remember when you first opened up a couple years ago. It was like a, more than a couple years ago, 98 I guess it was. And like there was so many cars here, it was just like I, I told everybody in the country about them. I want everybody to know about them. If you're down in Sevierville, Tennessee, the Gatlinburg area, you need to come to this museum. You will spend an entire day here. What the, what was the first cars you had, maybe? What were some of the first cars you had? Well, you, I had a 6149, which that was very rare because they didn't make about 543 of them. And so I kind of ruled the street back in, back at home with that. But, uh, that's one of my favorite cars. And then later in the years, I purchased Grumpy Jenkins' old reliable 63Z11, which that was one of my favorite cars. And also, the 66 Chevelle that Smokey Unique built mm -hmm. that NASCAR never let him run. Now uh, those two cars I'd love to have back. What they call like the 7 8 car or whatever? 7 8 car. Yeah. Uh, it really wasn't and I asked Smokey about that and he <laughs> says, well it makes for a good story. But <laughs> I, I had it in my garage yeah. with a 67 nose to tail <laughs> and it was, it was the same width. I, but it was set down in the frame. So. I wrote an article about that back for uh, Speed Digital about a year ago. Oh, okay. Day, I was familiar with that car. That was a rare car to have. What, uh, is there any, I, you've had ZL1s, Bosphor Giants, everything you could think of. Is there any car that you'd like to have you never got a hold of? Oh goodness, I, I really can't think of anything that I, I never had because I've had three ZL1s and I've had three Z11s, you know, and then Smokey Chevelle, uh, you know, I, as far as being a diehard GM man, I guess that's uh, some of the cream of the crop, but, but I also had the last two 63 Super Duty Pontiacs ever made. Is that like one the black was the, one over here? One was yeah. the Pikes Peak, okay. and no, the other one was the Silver 63 with the okay. Swiss cheese. That was the Mickey no. Thompson car? No. no. One like it? No, it was one like it, like but it. Okay. That, that wasn't it. I think I've seen that when you was here. Now, being in the Nashville area and Knoxville area and everything, you've got to have celebrities come to your shows. Well, What's the most famous celebrity you might have had? George Jones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. the old possum. Yep. Did he, did he have any cars or he just loved muscle cars? He loved muscle cars. He When he come in, he wanted to know if I had any Corvettes in here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's a few. He, he did not ask about the John Deere tractor, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been fun. It would have been yeah. a lot of fun. So what do you think is the fastest car in here, quarter mile wise, that you've got on your hand today? What would have been well, the fastest? Quarter mile car, I yeah. guess, in here right now, it, it possibly would be that 2014 uh, Z28. The Z28 car, the new car, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, we were talking in, uh, amongst ourselves earlier trying to pick what favorite car we have. And all of us was the same conclusion. I can't pick one. It's like I could pick top 10, maybe will it down top 5. It's like I, I couldn't pick which one I would, would like to take on, even if you wouldn't give it to me, which you're not going to do. But I mean, it's just un unbelievable. It's just, there's so many cars to pick from, you just can't pick a, a, your most favorite. Yeah. So, wh which hard. one is your favorite? Well, I guess you would have to say this 67 427 Impala okay. because I've owned it over 30 years. Oh, really? Yep. Yeah. And okay. in fact, this is kind of the last car, that, the muscle car that I've got mm -hmm. because I'm trying to get ready to sell the place and, oh, really? and retire. Yeah, I've sold most <laughs> of my cars already. Yeah.
going to try to sell it as a museum, or would you like to sell it as a whole unit? I would love to sell it as a museum, but mm -hmm. probably it will sell as real estate more so than oh, a museum. I would hate to see that. If any Thank of you guys you. got deep pockets out here, you need to come talk to this man, buy his museum, you'd have all this for yourself. There you go. Well, it's, I thank you again for letting me come in here and do this. I appreciate it every time that I come in. And it's this my, has been a pleasure. Believe me, it's okay. my pleasure. Again, you, you guys, when you're in the Sevierville area, you have got to come to Floyd Garrett's Muscle Car Museum. It's the best museum in the country. You will not regret it, and you'll come back. So thanks again for Speed Digital and MyClassicGarage.com. This is Bobby Chestnut on the road again.